guys it's Friday I'm in my kitchen you get the lovely view of the pineapple I just went grocery shopping today normally I do it Saturday but we're gonna be camping and I'm not I'm not leaving the campground to go grocery shopping so I went today with my grandmother we drove her car she's still dealing with her knee I went to to take her to an appointment to be fitted for a knee brace and to my surprise and hers as well, she could pick a color, any color she wanted. And she went with a metallic purple. No surprise to me actually because our family likes purple, but anyway. And then we got our groceries, we came back, I had lunch and went to my appointment with my orthopedic surgeon that I've been seeing for a little over a year. And get this, a little over three months ago, he told me I would probably be scheduling surgery this month to fix the tear in my shoulder. However, that's not the case. <laughs> I have been totally cleared from his care unless something else were to come up. But, whatever that means, I'm not sure. It could mean that my my arm is healing on its own or it's not tearing anymore. I don't know. I've been trying to make some changes to not put strain on my shoulder and it's actually been better. He did some tests and said, I am good and he, better than good. He's like, you don't need to come and see me anymore. I thought, so, and I'm surprised even after I carried in all my groceries, I carried a big like 12 pack of the little Gatorade bottle, not little Gatorade bottles, but about the, I don't know, regular little individual size bottles. And I had that on top of a box of, a case of high C juice boxes. And that was probably like on the fifth or sixth trip of bringing in my groceries from the bottom of my driveway because we had taken my grandma's van. So I brought them in from there. But anyway, and I thought for sure my shoulder would be in excruciating pain by the time I went in there. And he poked around and I had a tiny bit of tenderness in my, the spot where the, by where the tear is. No flinching, no screaming, nothing. So I thought, oh, well, this is good. And as soon as he said, I don't need to see you anymore, I thought, woohoo! that's great and I'm cleared to go to school and all that so now I'm preparing for our camping trip I've done some preparing but you see these they have little lids I think I showed you that maybe I showed you these in the video when I went shopping a couple weeks ago and these are for my ketchup and mustard and I found these at Goodwill for 99 cents they were like brand new. They actually smelled new. And I have washed them. And I'm going to fill them get them ready. Um, and I'm getting ready to make some foil packets to go on the fire. I've got my smoked sausage. And an onion. I don't have my green pepper in here at the moment. I got it from my grandma's garden. Um, and I think... I'll add some potatoes. I'll cube up some potatoes. So I'm going to slice up the sausage and the onion, cut up the onion and the green pepper and I'll add some potato cubes and I'll season that with a little bit of um, butter, garlic, maybe a little pepper, um, a little bit of Italian seasoning. That's pretty good too. Um, put some basil in there maybe. Some, Well, maybe not basil this time, but oh, I got myself some new sunglasses today. I haven't been able to find mine for three days and I need them while driving. So, anyway, so that's how my day's been going. And I'm excited to get ready for this camping trip. So, I will bring you guys along, but I will not be posting anything until either Sunday afternoon, evening, or Monday morning because I'm going to have to upload all these videos and put them together. So, I hope all of you have a great weekend. I know I'm going to try to, even though I'm going to be dealing with five teenagers. Five. Yeah. Sorry, I'm in a mood right now. Um, yeah. 
My son and his friends are coming camping with us. However, they'll be in a tent. They'll be kind of off by themselves. However, we'll still be in charge of them. So, but it should be fun. I mean, it's not like we're gonna be hovering over them the whole time, but they know to be respectful and everything in the campground. So it should be fun. And we're gonna be parked right by the playground and the shower house. So yeah, I am so ready for this camping trip. This is our way of getting away. It costs us $40 for two nights in a pull through camping spot. Pull through meaning we can just pull right in and park. Don't have to unhook, unhook the truck. And then we can just pull on out when we're ready to go. Of course, we have to level the camper and everything in between, but it's perfect. And we have an electric, electric hookup. We just don't have water, which is fine. We have a big water tank that we hardly ever use the whole tank of water anyway. So it's really great. And we can bring our own food. And honestly, the amount of food I spend is the same I would spend for any other weekend. It's not anything extra for food. Um, because we normally have bigger meals on the weekends and do stuff with family anyway. So it's not an extra expense. The only extra expense is probably an extra maybe $10, $15 in fuel to get there. Um, we don't have to buy ice for the cooler. We have this really cool Orca cooler. We uh, freeze some water and some jugs and put them in there. And it keeps it cold all weekend long. So, yeah. So about for about $50, $60. Bucks, and we have our own firewood out back from a tree that got chopped down, so that's no extra expense either. So this should be some fun trip. So yeah, for 55, 60 bucks, we can have a weekend getaway, and we can do this all summer long, every about every couple weeks. But it's been about a month, I think, since we've camped because we've just had so much going on. So I will see you guys later. Say hi, hi guys. Okay. We're, we're off guys. on our camping trip. Took us a little while to get going. Had to hook get up the dog. and get we dog. had to uh, fix a low tire. And Buster's coming with Wait, us. Wait, low tire? What is that? Yeah. The tire, the air in the tire was low. What do you think it means? So we're off and but to help set up camp for the teenage boys that are coming out because they had to go to the football game. Uh, Joey had to go for band. Um, one of his friends plays football. Yeah, so they all just decided they're gonna come out at the same time. So, see you out there. So I'm in the camper right now. My husband went down to, or went over to the other campsite that we have for our son and his friends, they are not here yet, so we decided to set up their tent. Oh, I got stuff in my hair, goodness. Yeah, don't mind the hair. Anyway, and it got cold and windy, and the fire, we were having troubles with the fire staying on. Some weird light reflecting off something. Anyway, so it took forever for the kids' food to cook. I actually had to bring it in the camper, and I was gonna finish cooking it inside, and then realized that the propane is not turned on yet, so, and since I have difficulty with that, don't ask, but, um, I had to cook it in the microwave, <laughs> so the kids are finishing, but they did have something to eat, like, there were fruit, there was fruit and other things and stuff for them to eat, so they weren't starving, but they're eating their chicken right now, so, hopefully tomorrow is warmer and better, and I hope my husband comes back to our campsite safely. Good morning. It's Saturday morning and we're awake in the camper except for Layla. She's trying to make, get more sleep. Yes, I have. Hi. All my kids are in bed with me right now. Mm -hmm. uh, my husband's outside trying to start a fire. And we're trying to stay warm because it got really cold last night. Really cold. And uh, we forgot to turn the heater on, so we have it on now, and we're all trying to warm up. And I kind of tried to Body wash heat. my hair, sort of, and now I'm cold, more cold than I was before. Colder, I should say, not more cold. Anyway, more colder. Coley went outside already, right, Coley? Yep. Was it cold out there? Yes. I have shorts on, so no. Mm, you're not going outside. Yes. Um, Shouldn't you? Right, we're gonna let Layla rest. 
Should Poor I get thing. change skirt? Sitting out here by the fire. Hubby's over by the truck. Just relaxing. It's still a little chilly, so I have my hood up. I haven't been able to quite warm up just yet, so. Yep. Mm. That right there is a free fire. Didn't cost us a thing except my hubby's hard work trying to keep it going. We had our breakfast this morning. Eggs and biscuits and gravy. We made the sausage gravy over the fire. My husband actually made it, cooked it. I just had to use the oven and the camper to make the biscuits. And then we made coffee outside. We've got our little set up over here. Our little makeshift outdoor kitchen. And uh, that is how we have our family vacations. And this, I'll have to switch my camera it's right here, folks, is our summer home. Poor man's lake house, I guess. We're at one of our local campgrounds. It only takes us about 30 minutes to get out here. We got a spot right by the uh, shower house. There's a playground over there. If you can see right behind us. Yep. So, and then we have our nice little spot here. The campus is actually very carpet for us. The kids have their bikes. We have electricity. Like I said, the electricity. I think I said something before that's included in our cost. $20 a night. Buster's hanging out. We have to keep him on a chain, which I don't think he likes it too much. But we take him on walks. And we have our table here that's provided. As well as we got our chairs and stuff. But like, this is perfect. Yes, we have our coffee maker. No, we're not exactly roughing it. But we have an outdoor outlet for that. And the kids are inside right now keeping warm. So we've got Dutch ovens to cook in. Um, we've got our bikes. These fold up. So we can take them with us. The kids usually we just put their bikes in the back of the truck. So they're inside. Okay, we're watching Dolphin Tail too. They're watching a movie, keeping warm. It's actually not that cold out anymore. So, yeah. This is how we have family time, and and this is how we have our family time and make and have. Kind of our little mini vacations throughout the summer and without spending a lot of money so this can be done on just about any budget you don't have to have a camper i mean this camper is actually used very used we bought it for like three thousand dollars with our tax money tax re refund one time one year and cost us 58 dollars a year to keep it licensed um yeah, the awning needs replaced, but we'll eventually get to that. And yeah, it doesn't take a lot. We spend a little bit of money to fill the propane tanks. Yeah, there's that. And that's about it. And they last us pretty much all summer. And Hubby's relaxing by the fire. This is what he loves to do. So, and we borrowed my parents' Easy Up. So. Yeah, folks, you can do this. It's the family easy up. It's a, uh, it's an easy way to have it. Like if you have a good tent and can get a campsite with electricity, you can plug in a heater if it gets a little chilly because it is a little chilly this time of year. But other than that, pretty nice. Alright, just a quick little overview of our camper before I end this video. How we have everything organized in these bins and we have everything organized to where I can see it. I'm going to probably do some more organizing later, but this saves us some money so I can see what we've got and I don't buy anything that we don't need. So, yeah, that's how we do it around here. Um, we're packing up, getting ready to go. See you later. Bye.